Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hammer Radio Crash Course. Today, continuing on uh, Antenna November, I have another really interesting antenna. Look at this little, little guy here. This is the K6 ARK Adam, part of the YouTubers bunch. Uh, you've probably seen a lot of his very interesting videos that he makes. This is his uh, custom 49 to 1 half wave end fed or end fed half wave. And the unun is attached to the BNC. So this goes straight to your radio, no feed line needed, and it's incredibly light. What a really cool uh, antenna that Adam has sent me. There's only one downside to this antenna. You can't buy it anywhere. You need to make it, and Adam has the video uh, that shows you how to do it, so I'll post that in the description. But today, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this up in the air and try it out. Thanks for joining me on the Ham Radio Crash Course. To make assembly or hoisting of antenna wires easy, I put a uh, fishing line tip on the end of this tenkara rod, which normally doesn't have that as a little tippet of, of ribbon or string. Uh, and then I attach a shock cord. And that shock cord I'm going to run the antenna through. And that, I've found, does a pretty good job of, of keeping the antenna wire away from the metal of the eyelet uh, while still being able to get the antenna in the air. So we're going to go ahead and hoist Adam's antenna here up. I'm going to lash it to this point right here. I know that I have said I like these, uh, these Walmart gear snakes for a reason, and I'll show you why. So you just keep some in your antenna go bag or whatever. You know, a real long run of it coiled up. When you find a situation where you need a little bit of uh, added security or an extra mount point, just cut it to size. And there you go. So now we got a mounting solution for our antenna here. So what a cool design. Incredibly thin antenna wire, incredibly thin. And he's got the un unwrapped through the toroid. It's been heat shrinked and then potted, which means there's like an epoxy resin on the inside. And this just clips onto the you know, radio, and that's all you have to do. Pretty good. This should be good uh, without a tuner, much like the one that we reviewed earlier from Jason, KM4ACK. Just a much smaller version of this. This can't handle much power. It's more for portability than it is power. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of do what we did before. I'm gonna feed it out. Got a lot of wire holding up here. I don't know which direction I'm gonna go with this actually. If I'm gonna go, I think I might go that way. In fact, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Cause that'll get me, yeah, that'll be good. Now, you know what? Before I hoist, I'm gonna get most of it through. I don't wanna play this game. I know where this game leads. Let's go run the property line and see where to mount this other end. All right. <coughs> All right, <clears throat> I gotta get around this bush. Oh, well, part of the way there. We gotta take up this slack. We gotta bring the feed line back down. It, it came loose. And I'm gonna reposition this to take up some more of the slack just to get it up higher. I think that should work out well for us. Maybe I spoke too soon. Let me. <laughs> God, why? <laughs> okay, you're pissing me off. All right, let's see how we did on the K6 ARK Adams antenna. Just attach it to the feed point like that. Let's try 40. Oh, oh, <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> uh, that is very impressive. The lowest point of the antenna is at 7.156 megahertz. And that lowest point is 1.1 to one. That is fantastic, which means if I slide over here, 7.075, which is the, call it the FT8 frequency, it is about 1.3 to one. 
uh, SWR. That is very, very good. Okay, so I'm gonna take that initial reading as a good sign because I'm primarily gonna use 40 meters uh, with this antenna, at least from what my plan is tonight, tonight slash today. Okay, so we are getting out further. It looks like the furthest so far is AI9T with a negative 19. We're getting up to the, oh, made a contact, W6VIP. So we've made a contact on each antenna so far. I wasn't tracking that, but I probably should. I am putting out five watts. Shut up. Let's blast out some more here. God. What? He got louder. Oh, he's right there. Oh, it's a blue jay. Or two contacts, two contacts. K, all right, KJ7KIN. Looks like our best was negative 11 dB, and it, it feels like that's about as far as it went. And that was W4WYD, negative 11. So how do we do with this little antenna that could? pretty well. During the live stream when I uh, did a kind of field review of the different portable antennas I dragged out to Big Bear, California, the K6 ARK antenna did fine and it got extra high marks for its portability. Uh, this thing is incredibly light, it's incredibly small, it can go into any pack uh, that you're going to take out into the field along with a QRP radio or whatever and it's just gonna disappear, right? So you can even have a second antenna. You want a little bit bigger antenna, something a little bit more robust. Material-wise, this can be a little light. You know, even Adam says that this antenna's wire is, is very, very fine, like hair almost, like horse hair, kind of what it reminds me of. You, you do have to be careful with this, but you can make this however you want. This is an antenna that you make, that you make your own. So I hope this gave you some incentive to go not only try and make this on your own, but go check out K6ARK's channel as well. He does amazing antenna videos and also does amazing remote and portable activation videos. He is a very, very active Summits on the Air activator and also very active in the volunteer search and rescue outside of San Diego, California. So please do check him out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please comment below Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification because I live stream every 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Saturdays. I hope you join us for that. I'm Josh KI6NAZ. You've been watching the Hammer to Crash Course, and I'll talk to you later. See ya. I did a live stream. Oh boy, I have an AirPod in my ear. Ha 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 ha.